Annette Fryer, Germany's funny girl. Annette Fryer is hilarious. She's a comedic force in Germany. Think of her like our own Tina Fey or Amy Poehler. Annette is quick-witted, relatable, and just a little bit goofy. She's known for her roles in sitcoms and movies, and she's not afraid to poke fun at herself or, you know, the Pope. Annette's humour is often self-deprecating. She's not your typical glamorous celebrity. She tells it like it is. This honesty is what makes her so endearing. She's just like us, except, you know, she's friends with the Pope. OK, maybe not, but she did meet him. And it's a pretty hilarious story. So, picture this. Annette gets an invitation. Not just any invitation, mind you. An invitation to the Vatican to meet the Pope. Can you imagine the shock? Now, Annette isn't exactly, how should we say, a regular churchgoer. In fact, she rarely steps foot in a church. She's more of a Christmas and Easter kind of gal. You know, the type who shows up for the big holidays. So, this invitation, it threw her for a loop. She was completely taken aback. Turns out, it was all thanks to her mum. Her mum had a little secret. Annette's mum is a devout Catholic, the kind who prays every day and never misses a service. She's the kind of lady who never misses a Sunday mass. Rain or shine, she's there. And she's incredibly proud of her daughter, the famous comedian. She tells everyone about Annette's achievements. So proud, in fact, that she wrote a letter to the Vatican. Yes, she took the time to write a heartfelt letter. Yes, you heard that right. She wrote a letter to the Pope himself, pouring her heart out. She wrote a letter to the Pope himself, singing Annette's praises and suggesting they meet. She believed in her daughter that much. And guess what? It worked. The Vatican responded positively. The Pope, in all his wisdom and humour, decided to invite Annette and her mum to the Vatican. It was a dream come true for her mum. Now, you'd think Annette would be over the moon, right? I mean, who wouldn't be thrilled at the prospect of such an extraordinary experience? A chance to meet the Pope, the leader of the Catholic Church, a figure of immense global influence and reverence. It's not every day you get an invitation like that. It's a rare honour, something most people can only dream of. But Annette, not so much. She was hesitant. The idea of meeting the Pope didn't exactly fill her with joy. The Vatican? Me? I make fun of authority for a living, she joked. Her humour was her shield, her way of coping with the unexpected. Annette wasn't raised in a strict religious household. Her upbringing was more about open-mindedness and questioning norms. She respects faith, but never felt a strong connection to the church itself. Religion was more of a concept than a practice in her life. She's more comfortable cracking jokes on a stage than attending mass. The spotlight was her sanctuary, not the pews. But her mum, her mum was ecstatic. The news brought her immense joy, a dream come true. She was over the moon doing cartwheels. OK, maybe not cartwheels, but you get the picture. Her enthusiasm was infectious. Annette couldn't say no to her mum. The bond they shared was too strong to disappoint her. And secretly, deep down, she knew it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity something she might regret missing out on. So, with a mix of trepidation and amusement, she packed her bags for Rome, ready to embrace the unexpected adventure ahead. The trip itself was an adventure. Imagine Annette and her mum, two German ladies, navigating the bustling streets of Rome. They did all the touristy things, visited the Colosseum, tossed coins in the Trevi fountain, ate their weight in pasta. Annette being Annette, she found humour in everything. Lost in translation moments? Plenty. 
awkward encounters with street vendors. You bet. She even joked about the Pope's fashion choices. That hat? It's very... statement making, she quipped. Through it all, Annette's mum was her biggest fan. She documented every moment with her trusty camera, capturing Annette's every eye roll and sarcastic comment. It was a classic mother-daughter trip, filled with laughter, love and a healthy dose of chaos. Finally, the big day arrived, the papal audience. The anticipation had been building for weeks and the air was thick with excitement and reverence. Annette, dressed in her finest black dress, with a little comedic touch, of course, stood nervously in line with her mum. She had spent hours picking out the perfect outfit, wanting to make a good impression. She felt a mix of emotions, awe, excitement, and a touch of, what am I doing here? It was a surreal moment, standing in the heart of Vatican City, surrounded by centuries of history and faith. Then it was her turn. Her heart pounded as she took a deep breath and stepped forward. Annette and her mum approached the Pope. The moment felt like it was happening in slow motion. He greeted them with a warm smile. His presence was calming and his eyes sparkled with genuine kindness. And then something unexpected happened. They started laughing. It was as if the tension melted away in an instant. The Pope, known for his kindness and humility, had a twinkle in his eye. His laughter was infectious and soon everyone around them was smiling. They chatted for a few minutes, exchanging pleasantries and jokes. It was a light-hearted moment in an otherwise solemn setting. Annette, in her own words, tried not to swear and resisted the urge to ask for a selfie. She wanted to capture the moment, but knew it was one to be cherished in memory. It was a surreal experience, a blend of reverence and humour. A day she would never forget, filled with unexpected joy and laughter in the Holy City. Section 6. A Comedian's Perspective. Punching up, not down. Now, you might wonder how a comedian, someone who often pokes fun at institutions, interacts with the Pope. Well, Annette's approach was respectful but honest. She didn't hold back her personality. Comedy is about punching up, not down, she explained later. I would never make fun of someone's faith. But the institution, the power structures, that's fair game. Annette found humour in the absurdity of the situation. A comedian in the Vatican making small talk with the Pope. She saw the humanity in it all the shared experience of two people from very different worlds finding common ground. Section 7. Unexpected Grace. He's just a mensch. What struck Annette most about the Pope was his humility. He's just a mensch, she said later, using the Yiddish word for a good, decent person. He was kind, funny and down to earth. I wasn't expecting that. The experience challenged Annette's preconceived notions about the church. She realised that faith is a personal journey and that institutions, even powerful ones like the Vatican, are made up of individuals. Annette left the Vatican with a newfound appreciation for the power of faith and the importance of human connection. She also left with a great story for her next stand-up routine. Section 8 A Mother's Wish Fulfilled Love and Laughter in Rome For Annette's mum, the trip was a dream come true. She had witnessed her daughter, the comedian, share a laugh with the Pope. It was a moment of pure joy and pride. Annette, despite her initial reluctance, was grateful for the experience. She had stepped outside her comfort zone 
and gained a new perspective. The trip cemented the bond between mother and daughter. They had shared something truly special, a memory they would cherish forever. And hey, not many people can say they met the Pope because their mum wrote a fan letter. Section 9. Annette Fryer Faith, Family and Finding the Funny Annette Fryer's papal adventure reminds us that humour can be found in the most unexpected places. It also highlights the importance of family, faith and the power of human connection. Annette's story is a testament to the idea that laughter can bridge divides and bring people together, even a comedian and the Pope.